Hello, I'm Chef Johnny, and you've reached Texas Style Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by today. Got a special treat for you. My wife is going to show you how she makes her pot roast. This afternoon, my daughter's home from college and her very favorite thing to eat is pot roast. So I'm gonna show you how the Stewarts make their pot roast. The first thing we do is to brown the roast. This is a nice roast. It's um, about a little over three pounds. So this should feed a family of four just fine. It's got a nice red color. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna brown the roast. So we're gonna go ahead and heat our skillet up with a little oil. Then we're going to drop that roast in and brown it. After it cooks for just a few minutes on one side, we'll flip it over and brown the other side. We've let it brown up for just a few minutes on one side. We're going to go ahead and flip it to the other side and brown that side. At this point, I go ahead and add the three seasonings that I use to my roast. I go ahead and salt and pepper and then add a little garlic to my roast. In just a minute, I'll flip it over on the other side and I'll do the same thing again. I just like to lightly coat both sides. So we'll do this side first and then I'll add a little garlic. While I'm waiting for it to brown up on the other side, I went ahead and got my water ready. And the other thing I did was I took an onion and I quartered it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the roast again now. nice and brown. I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings to this side. And again, it's just a light coat. And then I'm going to add my water. It's about two and a half cups of water. I'm going to let that come to a boil. And while I'm waiting for it to come to a boil, I'm gonna add the onion. I've quartered the onion and I'm just gonna kind of break it apart with my fingers and just kind of let it fall on the sides and on the top of the roast. And this will add really good flavor while it's cooking. And there's nothing better than roast with a little onion flavor. This is gonna cook probably two, two and a half hours on a low, low heat. I'll check it then. Um, it's going to have to be fork tender and about that time I'll go ahead and add some carrots that I've cut up, a little bit of celery for flavor, and some potatoes. And tonight I'm going to use red potatoes. Okay, I've got a nice little rolling boil starting in my pot. I've got my onions up on top. Um, the seasoning um, is in the water so it's ready to go. I will check it in a little while and I'll add a little bit more seasoning if I need to. But I'm going to go ahead and put the top on the roast and turn it down to a simmer. And again, I'll set my timer for about two and a half hours. We're about two and a half hours into this. And as you can see, our roast is done. It is what we would call fork tender. I can stick my, my fork into it and turn it and the meat shreds perfectly. So this is now time to go ahead and add the vegetables. First thing that we're going to add is our carrots, and we're just going to kind of sprinkle them on top. Excuse me, on top of the roast. I've got just a few pieces of celery. I'm going to add just for flavor, <clears throat> but the biggest thing I'm going to add is my potatoes. These are red potatoes. They've been scrubbed and quartered. They're going to go into the pot. I am going to bring it back up to a little boil. I actually, I'm going to add a little bit more water to it. And then I'm going to cover it back up for about 30 minutes. And at that time, everything should be ready and should be good and tender. I have poured my broth off of my meat and my vegetables into a saucepan. And I have created a slurry mixture. It's actually a cup of warm water and two tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to use this to thicken my gravy. I like this whisk better than anyone I've ever used before. This is a Cutco whisk. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and slowly pour 
the mixture in and start thickening my gravy. It will come to a boil before it will thicken and then I will taste it and I may need to add a little salt. I may not. It just depends on the flavor of the gravy. As you can see, it's starting to boil and it's starting to thicken. And what we will do is we'll go ahead and serve our plates. We'll put the roast and some vegetables on the plate and then my kids like to cover everything with this pot roast gravy. As you can see, the gravy's starting to thicken. It's boiling around the edges and I'm just gonna continue to stir as it thickens so it doesn't stick. And just keep doing this until you get the consistency that you want and it will thicken up a little bit as it cools in the pan as well all right it's ready I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off okay we've got our plate served up this is my daughter's favorite pot roast and this is both of my kids favorite meal my son loves canned green beans so they're seasoned with a little bit of salt pepper and garlic and we're gonna go ahead and ladle, ladle our uh, gravy over the top and we are ready to eat. Looks delicious. Thanks for joining us. Fantastic. My daughter was home. That's her favorite dish. So my wife stepped up and, and made pot roast for her while she was home from college. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, go down there and give me a thumbs up. Always do appreciate that. Remember to, uh, to share us on your social media. Tell your friends about us. Let them know what's going on here on Texas Style Cuisine. And we'll see you down the road. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.